Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I got in the Hey Call Art Box. That was an awkward sentence. Um, I don't know if you guys know about this artist. She's very popular online, especially on Instagram. Her handle is Hey Kala. She does everything traditionally and I really like her stuff. And she does this thing where she puts together an art box of all her favorite supplies and she sells it maybe like once every three months or so. And it usually gets sold out pretty quickly. So I wasn't able to get it the first couple of times, but I finally snatched it last time, which was about a month ago. I actually had this box sitting around for a couple of weeks. Uh, unfortunately, I was so busy that I wasn't able to use it at all, but I decided to give it a little test run and like just test all the supplies um, in just like sketch format. I don't know. I'm just gonna use the sketchbook that actually came with these supplies in the box and yeah. Alright, so I'm just editing this video now and I realized that I rec recorded the first snippet like ages ago so at this point I kind of want to change where I want to go with this video in terms of audio I was gonna review like all the materials and stuff that came in the box but I think that would be super boring because there's so many other videos on YouTube already that talk about the de uh, the materials and detail and like all the tools and stuff that come in the box I mean I have a pretty succinct verdict on the box. I think it's great. I like it a lot and I like all the tools that are in it. Um, maybe not all of them are particularly new to me or I mean I don't really need erasers I guess but aside from that everything else is great and I especially really like the masking fluid but I'll talk about that in a future video because I don't even use it in this one. So yeah. I didn't really have a whole lot to say and I don't really want to talk about the drawings that I'm making in this video because, again, there isn't a whole lot to say there. To get to the actual point, I want to do a story time video, which is something that I don't think I've really done before, but I do talk about personal experiences a lot, so it just only makes sense to eventually veer into that category. And I also want to practice being a little more to the point and less long-winded with stuff because I noticed that my videos just keep getting longer and longer to like an absurd degree so yeah I have to learn how to be more straight to the point I guess. Which brings me to the actual point so the title of this video is I failed art in high school which is true but obviously somewhat misleading I mean because high school is four years and I actually went to an art high school and I did fail one of my art classes in grade 12 I actually failed some other stuff in grade 12 as well pretty much went a little bit off the rails there but that's a story for another time so I wanted to tell you guys about how <laughs> This one art teacher hated me so much that she actually just straight up failed me. She gave me 30% uh, out of 100, obviously, at the end of the year, which I thought was just absurd. Um, To be honest, at this point, it was such a long time ago that I don't even remember if I bothered to fight it. I don't think I did. Like I mentioned just now, I failed, I think I failed a couple of other classes, and this wasn't because of performance issues, I was just going through a really, really hard time with, like, depression and stuff, and a bunch of other things outside of school happened around that time that made me completely unable to focus on it, and I really didn't give a shit about school anyways, I mean, I, I didn't in high school at any point, really, not that I advise anybody else to do that but yeah I just my heart wasn't in it I could not bring myself to care about it and I noticed I, I'm one of those people where like I mean I'm sure this is a common occurrence with most people if you're forced to retain information that you're not interested in you just can't do it and that was basically the case for me like I couldn't care less about any of the stuff that they were trying to teach us in high school and I had too many other problems to worry about in the like other aspects of my life that I just whatever anyways that's a great example of me going on a complete tangent so back to the actual story um 
I guess I actually wanted to talk about this one story in particular, as well as all the other instances in which I have faced... How do I even put this? I've had to deal with a combination of dismissal, discouragement, and disbelief from authority figures in relation to my art when I was younger a lot. Like, it happened just up up, up until I was maybe like 21 or something. It happened at regular intervals where I would have a somewhat traumatic experience of some sort of authority figure not believing that I drew what I drew or that I didn't like rip someone off or being super dismissive about my art and discouraging uh, or just hating me straight up like it it was a common occurrence like anyways but I, I want to talk about the first real like instance of this happening which which was from that one teacher in high school like so I went to an arts high school and it was a bit of a process to get in. Um, So I had to like make an application and I had to have a portfolio and I had to come in for an interview, which it sounds kind of like a lot. Like the school really wasn't that special and it was free. Like it's not like it was private or you had to pay or anything like that, but you did have to get into it because it was art focused. So um, what made it different from other high schools is that I guess you just had more Uh, classes related to your major which my major was art obviously so we basically had two art classes for the entire duration of high school which was four years so every year would have two different art uh, classes one of them called traditional and the other non-traditional traditional traditional being focused more on fundamentals and like the classical approach and the non-traditional being more focused on Things like abstract art, just like different forms of expression and like the rest of that. So probably unsurprisingly, the teacher that really hated me was teaching non-traditional art. And I did have her uh, from grade nine. And I think I, I had her as a teacher pretty much every year or almost every year. The memory is a little bit hazy now, but I mean, she was relatively harmless throughout the like the general experience of it I don't know why for some reason she started targeting me later on like especially in grade 12 I have a feeling that maybe it had something to do with the fact that I wasn't a huge fan of her class but I mean I don't remember doing anything in particular to warrant that type of hostility from her so I don't know. I mean, whatever. I tend to not jump to conclusions when it comes to people mistreating me. I'll usually try to find out if there's some sort of reason why it could possibly be justified for them being so rude. But in her case, I really can't because even if she didn't agree with what I was drawing, which is absurd to me, like for a high school teacher to even do that in the first place but even if she didn't there's no reason for her to actually fail me because I did all the work so basically back to the actual story (laughs) what happened was there's this one thing that kind of mildly traumatized me but not in like a sad way more in like a way that it made me seriously angry and it, it felt like such an injustice and it was pretty humiliating in some ways also so we had this ongoing assignment for the duration of the semester or I don't even remember how the classes were broken down but I think it was just I don't think it was semester actually I think it was just one class throughout the whole year so the the um, the long running project that was worth a pretty large chunk of the final grade was keeping a sketchbook and there were literally no guidelines for this you just had to keep a sketchbook and regularly draw in it. There wasn't anything specific that you had to do. You just had to keep a constant sketchbook and that was worth like 30% of the grade or something. And basically at the you just hand it in at the end of the uh like right before holidays and like near the end of the year or something and then you get a grade. 
uh, with like a review just stapled to like the back page or something that goes over. I don't know. It, like nobody took it too seriously because at the end of the day, since there's no actual guidelines on what to do, you it, it just basically was meant to assist you in forming the habit of keeping a sketchbook to constantly jot down your ideas or keep up a habit of drawing frequently. And that, as far as I can tell, that's the only purpose of that ongoing assignment, I suppose. Anyways, so what happened was, since we had two classes, uh, a lot of people, and this was also allowed, you could keep one sketchbook that's for both of the classes, the non-traditional and the traditional class. And what happened was the traditional class teacher asked us to hand the sketchbooks in first and then after we got it back from her the other teacher asked us to hand it in as well so I handed in my sketchbook and the grade from my traditional class was still like the the assessment sheet or whatever was still stapled to the back of the sketchbook and the traditional art teacher gave me a hundred percent which is not an uncommon thing like for people who just draw a lot which i drew a lot my sketchbook was completely full and it, it was just obviously my favorite thing to do and i did it all the time and it wasn't just done for the class either so there was a lot of personal work in there and just like a variety of things i like to experiment with screen tones and like things like that at the time because i was super into comics so it was full and obviously she had good reason to just give me 100 percent because i did what i was supposed to do and so the non-traditional teacher she when she handed us back our sketchbooks she actually asked me to stay behind after class, which I did, and some of my friends stayed as well, like, she didn't even, she basically just called me at the end of class when people were leaving, and she, she pulls out my sketchbook, and first of all, she, <laughs> she just point, like, she, she tells me that my sketchbook is, I don't even remember what she told me, because I've kind of blocked this out in some ways, but she gave me 30% out of the 100 for that assignment. And I was obviously shocked by this because it makes no sense because my sketchbook was full. And I was, I called her out and I was like, why would you give me a failing grade when I did the work that was asked of me? And I don't really remember what her answer to that was, but she made me go through the sketchbook like, she just kept flipping pages and pointing things out. And a lot of the stuff in the sketchbook were printouts because I got a tablet at some point. I think when I was in grade 11. So it's been, like, maybe about a year since I got a little tablet. So I drew a lot digitally. And obviously, since a lot of that was sketches, I just printed them out and put them in a sketchbook. Because how else am I going to hand it in? And, but that was like, I don't know, maybe 30% of the sketchbook. So everything else was like maybe 40% of it. Even less. I don't know. I still drew a lot on paper is my point. It wasn't just like a ton of printouts or anything like that. And um, while we were going through this, I noticed that basically all she was saying was pointing to a bunch of things and being like, so did you actually draw this? Uh, with me being obviously answering yes and then it just it just kept going like she would just keep flipping pages and ask me if I actually drew this or asking me what something is <laughs> like it was the weirdest thing because it wasn't like my skills jumped inconsistently or like unbelievably around that time I I had slow improvement like anybody else when I was in high school. I just drew constantly and it wasn't the first time she saw my art either. So to me, it was absolutely absurd for her to just assume that I printed out a bunch of random shit off of the internet and put it on my sketchbook to make it look like I did it myself. I, I don't know what the hell was going through her head, to be honest, but for her to have to put me through that. And she actually snapped at me. And she snatched the sketchbook away and she stormed out of the room. And, th and then later I found out from the other teacher that what she did was 
when she got to the end of the sketchbook, she saw that I got 100%, obviously, from uh, the other teacher. And to her, not only was it outrageous, like, not only did she want to fail me in her class, to her, it was outrageous that I got 100% in the other class. So she went through the whole school looking for the other teacher to basically uh, make her, like, defend the grade that she give, gave me, which... The other teacher did not care at all, and she said that it is what it is and whatever. Obviously, she didn't change it or anything, because the whole thing was just absolutely nuts. And I don't know, it was like one of those moments where, like, it definitely wasn't the first time where I faced this type of crap where somebody just straight up doesn't believe or, or think that I'm just somehow cheating for some reason. Um, I think the reason why I found that so offensive is because... I couldn't even understand the mindset that a person would have to have in order to go so far out of their way to create some sort of bogus illusion that they're good at art. Like I couldn't I don't even I couldn't even understand how somebody would do that, let alone for me to do something like that. So obviously it was it just, it was very enraging. I wasn't upset about it, or I wasn't sad about it. I was just angry. Like, I had so much anger for this, because at that point, um, I have been dealing it, dealing with that type of thing from multiple sur- sources. So that particular instance was a combination of dismissal and disbelief. And obviously, she did some incur- uh, some discouragement as well, because I've heard from her before that the type of artwork, obviously anime, if you guys couldn't guess already, um, was, you know, not viable as a career, was just worthless, it was a worthless pursuit, it was unoriginal, and you know, all that other crap, and like, I I think that honestly, and some of these teachers are so blind and so unexposed to different types of art, that when they see something that's unfamiliar, to them, it all kind of looks the same. And you know what? It's hard to blame people for that because sure, maybe to me, I I could have the same type of initial reaction to some artwork that I'm unfamiliar with where it all just kind of blends in. Sometimes I feel like that about music too, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to tell somebody that what they're doing with their time is worthless and just blatantly try to discourage them at every step of the way. It's, It's insane. But yeah, and this this matter actually never got resolved with her. She never gave me a proper grade. She stuck to her guns and she ended up actually just failing me. Um, because I, I think from what I can remember, the sketchbook was a pass or fail thing, not just for that assignment, but for the entire year. I think it was actually worth more percentage wise than even 30 or whatever I said. But yeah, so this is a story of how I actually failed art in high school. And I failed, uh, well, I mean, like, that's just a thing that made me super angry. And like I mentioned before, I had a lot of other stuff going on, like, with just outside of school problems so that I just started skipping school a lot. And honestly, like, for somebody, I obviously care about art a lot, and it was my favorite thing to do. And I never doubted the fact that it was going to be my career and it was already hard enough to hold on to any other irrelevant subjects that um, at the time I had no interest in because I had too many like emotional issues, I guess, to be dealt with, uh, that I just completely lost any desire to be part of that institution at all. Like, there was no reason for me to basically go to school and... Just the only reason why I could kind of wrangle myself to go most of the time was to see friends, right? And then when things kind of went south, south with friends sometimes, as some as it happens in high school because things are super dramatic, you know? Uh, yeah, I basically could not find a single reason to even bother going to school, which is why I ended up skipping, like... Uh, a a quarter or more of the entire 12th grade and I think I only I mean honestly it's surprising that I only failed like a couple of classes and I failed the other couple because I just didn't even show up to the exams but that's a story for another time and yeah aside from that 
uh, I'm not like, I don't think I harbor any resentment for that particular instance, but that's a pretty recent development. Like, honestly, up until maybe even a year or two ago, I I sometimes remembered this woman and I seriously considered writing her a scathing email just telling her that what she did was absolutely insane and wrong and I hope to god that she doesn't do it to other people because I wasn't the only one who she did this to and she was super discouraging to other people some of my friends who don't even draw anymore like I'm not gonna pin that on her you know at the end of the day I'm gonna say that if you're meant to keep pursuing something you're just going to like it doesn't you should be able to ignore what other people say sufficiently right but at the same time, who knows, maybe she was a huge contributing factor t- as to why some of my friends ended up just dropping art as a whole during high school. Even though I do think that as a kid, when you make the decision to like apply to an art school and prepare a portfolio when you're, you know, at the end of middle school, like 13 or 14, it's a pretty conscious decision that means you're predisposed to it and it's something that you wanted to do and the fact that a lot of the kids that I was friends with just gave up on art by the end of the high school experience being an art major is honestly quite sad but you know I'm not gonna not gonna keep going about that at length this isn't the only story that I have about this type of thing in general obviously so Now that I can see on the timer, it's been about 20 minutes of me rambling about this. I definitely can't fit all the other things that I wanted to talk about. So I think I'm going to make another video later uh, about this general topic when it comes to stuff that I've experienced. Specifically the disbelief and or slash dismissal and discouragement of just my pursuit of art and uh yeah that was a horrible sentence i'm sorry (laughs) I'm, i'm becoming kind of incoherent but yeah i mean at the end of the day basically what i wanted to cap this off with was that i harvested this anger and defiance which defiance is what i felt about this most of the time honestly because i'm gonna tell you guys that i I do know that I was uncommonly good at art at when I was younger compared to my peers and it was something that it made me stand out. Uh, obviously this ended eventually because that only really happens when you're like better than you're supposed to be I guess at a young age then you know adults notice and people notice and all that other stuff so that actually gained me a lot of negative attention and I think a lot of the disbelief and discouragement came from that because a lot of teachers were just so like they didn't even entertain the idea that somebody could have possibly actually cared enough about art to draw a lot and actually improve. To them, it was immediately like some sort of cheap trick to gain attention, which is so cynical and so disgusting, to be honest. And yeah, but but yeah, I do want to talk about this at some point and how it kind of shaped the way that I approached art from a young age but mostly what I felt from this was defiance and I was super angry and I used the fuck you attitude frankly as a motivator because I just the only thing that I wanted to do was to prove to them that they're wrong and that I can accomplish whatever I want and they can't tell me what to do And their opinions are not going to influence me is what I was mostly focusing on in those times. So, yeah, I guess I got a little bit heated about this because it is something that I still remember sometimes. I mean, it's been a while at this point, obviously. I haven't had to deal with anything like this in a long time, thank God. And it only makes sense because after a certain age, that type of thing just doesn't really happen anymore. Thank God again but yeah i just wanted to tell you guys that if there are some of you out there that are 
experiencing a lot of discouragement and like dismissal and god forbid of uh, like adults or people that are in a position of power and authority over you are expressing a disbelief in your achievements and just scoffing at the things that you uh, th like where you got yourself from working hard and like practicing and really caring about what you're doing uh please try not to take it too hard and remember always that it's just one person's opinion and that opinion is usually a lot more reflective of how they feel about themselves and the world than it does on you like it usually just has nothing to do with you so yeah i mean hopefully that kind of ends it on a positive note but yeah i just wanted to share that story with you guys because I thought it was kind of funny that I failed art in high school. And yeah, I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.